everyone, so today I am filming a new video. So firstly, I want to apologise if I'm a little bit more quieter than usual because I am very much aware everybody can hear me right now. So today I am filming a new video. I'm going to be filming a university Q&A video which I'm so excited about. Yeah, I have been at uni now for three weeks tomorrow and I've done... I'm on my second week of lessons basically. So yeah, I'm on my second week of lessons and yeah, I've been here for three weeks. So I'm going to start off by answering kind of the most generic questions. So yeah, I've been asked this a few times. So I go to the University of Essex, which is actually literally where I live. Um, I literally live about 15 minutes down the road, but I am living in halls at the moment, although I am really debating giving up my halls only because... I feel like it's a lot of money that I'm paying and the whole reason I wanted to live in was to get the whole uni experience and I feel like that's just not happening this year. Obviously they're really really tight on um, parties and stuff, they literally haven't been a party since week one where there was a few parties but then it got put on news and everything and it got a bit crazy so they literally upped the security. So security literally comes walking in and out of our kitchen and our like hallways all the time now it's literally crazy and we have police around literally everything plus we have also gone into tier two lockdown essex has so that means we're not meant to meet with other households inside although i'm not gonna lie i have still been going home and also i've seen on so many people's like snapchat stories and stuff them going into town with, like their friends like people that i know and I'm like, so are bars and pubs still letting people in, even though they're not meant to? But yeah, I don't really understand all of that. Obviously, things are getting a lot harder right now. And most people are saying that we're going to go into like a full-on lockdown by Christmas. So I feel like it's kind of the right option to stay at home. So I'm in the middle of like debating what to do with that. But yeah, that is the kind of short story. So yeah, go to Uni of Essex. I'm living in halls. For those of you who don't know, I am actually 19. So I went to Uni of Brighton last year. I'm sure a lot of you guys know, but also I do have a lot of new viewers that have come from the past few uni videos. So yeah, I went to the University of Brighton last year, got really homesick and anxious, which is why I came home and dropped out. Um, and took a year off so I'm back this year I'm so glad I took a year off though because I actually changed what course I wanted to do so that was another question that I got asked is what I'm actually studying so I'm doing film studies but with a foundation year so basically I'm doing foundation year because I actually took three months off of sixth form and kind of had to teach myself everything because of my anxiety unfortunately so yeah I ended up doing really terrible in some of my exams which meant I didn't get the grades to get in here which was a b b I think to get into this uni but obviously I got through to Brighton absolutely fine but this uni is a higher qualification uni so yeah, I had to do a foundation year but also it's kind of good because the foundation year is also for people who have took a period of time out of education and it's kind of getting you back into the swing of things so i mean it's not a bad option for me anyway because i have took a year off so yeah that is basically the situation so with the foundation year i am actually doing history english literature and philosophy oh and research and development skills and yeah honestly it's, it's not the best but luckily i really like history and english um i did english a level and I did history GCSE so yeah I literally love them subjects so I'm actually quite happy with that. Obviously it's nothing to do with my actual course which I'll be doing next year which is film studies and for obvious reasons I chose film studies but to be honest a uh, fun fact I didn't actually know that film studies was a kind of degree that you could get. I didn't really know much about it so having a year out actually meant that I found this course which is absolutely perfect for me whereas last year I was actually doing marketing so yeah this is a lot better for me and I'm very very excited to start film studies like it's unreal. I do have in-person classes as well and um, so my timetable is mixed between in-person and normal online zoom calls plus we have to do a load of pre-recorded lectures and things like that so the timetable is a bit all over the place um, as you would have seen in my last vlog but yeah, so that's the situation there. I can literally hear my voice echoing and I'm like, I hope that's not echoing out into the hallway because that's embarrassing. So far, I have also signed up to two societies, which is quite exciting. I did want to sign up to like a few more, but I think it's just really difficult this year again because a lot of like, most of them are kind of online, which is so weird. So I've signed up to the Yoga and Meditation Society, which is quite exciting. But again, that is over Zoom. So it's kind of like, 
So yeah, and I've also signed up to um, Rebel, which is the student media. So yeah, they've got like media rooms where you can go in and do editing, do everything basically. So that is so exciting. I can't wait to use that. I'm waiting for a few of my course mates to do their induction and then we're gonna all go together, I think. But yeah, so that's super exciting as well. But yeah, overall, that is kind of where we are at. And yeah, I am loving it here. I do really prefer it at the moment to the Brighton one. Only because I think with the Brighton one, I was also just so far out from the actual uni. Even though I was in the centre of Brighton, like right at the seafront, I was so far out from uni that it just didn't even feel like I was at uni, if you get what I mean. Whereas right now, I'm on an actual campus and I just love the fact that everything is literally in one place. I love the scenery, like it's just all green and like lovely. So I've been on loads of like nice little walks around like the lakes and stuff and it's just really nice. So yeah, I am preferring it to Brighton Uni so far. So now I'm gonna answer a few questions that you guys have asked other than obviously the generic ones that I just answered. So the first question I've got is, do you get through all the reading? Because I don't. Um, no, I don't think you need to do this a little bit different because I was talking to one of my friends and they were saying that they've got like a reading week next week, which would normally be like when October half term is, but we don't have that. We have reading every week. It's not too bad to be honest with you guys, like they give us readings for every single week and it's all online so I don't have to buy any books apart from one which was a Shakespeare book for English, but apart from that, also, that book is like so thin, so that's absolutely fine. Apart from the fact that I literally don't understand any word of Shakespeare, but you know. But apart from that, like all the other books are online and usually it just tells you like in week two you have to re read this chapter. So it's like different books, but just like a chapter or like a few pages from a book. So it's not actually that bad, but no, I can't lie, I don't get through all the readings. I try to. See the thing with readings is like I just get so lost because they're such boring books. Like I'd rather listen to the lecturer tell me about, you know, the subject rather than reading a book because the books are just so boring on the subjects that I just do not take anything in. So yeah. The next one I got is what are you most excited for over the next three years? That's a really good question. So I'm actually doing this over four years because as I said I'm doing the foundation year. So that's kind of crazy. I literally saw my ID the other day and it literally said Spires 2024 and I was like oh my god like I'm gonna be 23 then like how crazy is that? I don't really know like I don't really know what I'm most excited for over the next three years. I think mainly to meet some new people, some new friends. At the moment we haven't really been able to do that I can't lie. So I guess I'm I'm probably most excited to get out of this Covid stage and actually like have a normal university experience because I feel like this is just not it. So yeah, I guess that's what I'm most excited for but honestly I'm just so excited to start my actual film course next year. Like I'll be taking you guys along with me because I'm sure because you all watch YouTube too you will all be loving this as well. So yeah, I'm genuinely so excited for that. I'm so excited to like make my own films and like obviously I literally adore like editing and things like that so I am so excited for this course. I genuinely like I've never been so excited for anything. Next question. <laughs> Is it worth the 9k a year bro? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's worth it overall. If Covid wasn't a thing, I think 9k a year is kind of worth it because like you're getting so much experience out of this like it's not just to do with your course it's like the independence and things like that and just meeting new people and things like that like I feel like I mean obviously that's not worth the 9k but like the experience like that you're going to gain from this is like massive and then on top of that obviously the course the courses are really in depth and I think that's the thing like with film and like getting into them kind of film roles you'd have to be so good at filming and editing beforehand and like be able to showcase like amazing work to actually get into a job like that. Whereas if you have a degree behind you, you're a lot more likely to get into a job like that. I know there's like certain jobs, like I know for a fact the marketing one actually, there's so many apprenticeships going for like marketing, things like that, that it's a lot easier to get into a job of marketing without a degree than it is film if you get what I mean. So I think it really does vary on the course that you take as well, but having that degree behind you is massive. And also like you have to think about it in a way that in order to pay off the debt, like you're gonna have to be in a good paying job. Like if you're not in a high enough paid job, 
then you don't have to pay it back anyway. So I feel like it's kind of like a, you call it, you know, like when you buy something and they're like, if you don't like it, like you get your money back. <laughs> it feels like that. Because it's like, well, not if you don't like it, but like, yeah, you know, like certain products are like, they guarantee you something. <laughs> About. what i'm trying to say is you know like they say like oh it will do this for you but then if that it doesn't do that for you then you get your money back it's kind of like that it's like this is to get you into a high paying like good job and if you don't get into a high paying good job then you don't have to pay off your loan basically <laughs> that makes no sense and also if you don't pay it off after like 30 years like then it just goes anyway so i feel like it is kind of worth it as long as you kind of get into a good paying job and yeah, so yeah, I don't know, I just explained that really badly, I know. That's the way I kind of see it, and honestly it would just be an absolute dream to me to get into like a film career, or like radio, TV, you know, any of that, like that would just be amazing. So I feel like it is worth it, however, this year, I am so glad that I'm doing a foundation year and not first year of uni right now, because, I mean, it might probably still be the same next year, but it is just so so difficult right now is definitely definitely not worth 9k a year right now that is for sure everything's online is genuinely like watching a youtube video or something like that like you're literally not being taught pretty much anything <laughs> and yeah you're just having to teach yourself literally everything and it's just it's really not worth it but also like, they just need to give us some kind of discount like if they're doing everything online we get no social experience we get no interaction like literally nothing the amount of stuff that we're missing out on this year compared to other years like i think that just deserves some kind of discount on this like i think it's stupid that they're literally making us pay the full amount for literally half the amount of stuff that we would have got if we went to uni any other year so yeah i do think that's stupid but yeah so that is it for this video guys i really hope you did enjoy it i hope it kind of helped you out a little bit i hope it gave you a bit more info on what i'm doing <laughs> if you did enjoy this video make sure to smash the thumbs up button also make sure to check out my social media which is on the screen now and subscribe if you haven't already yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all very very soon with a new one bye